Welcome guys, in this tutorial, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom railing. Okay, I have this floor and now I'm going to create a railing in here. So, go to the railing and then get part. I'm going to give a 3 inch offset. And then, from here, you can draw a line or you can uh, pick line i'm going to uh, pick a line i'm going to uh, select this line this line and this line and you're done okay now finish so let's uh, see in 3d as default it's a uh, reading uh, as like this so now i'm going to uh, bring some changes in here uh, I'm going to select this and then go to edit it and this is the the high of the railing and this is the plus uh, the blister type so from here you can change uh, the type of blister and also the material for that so going to change the profile I'm just going to change from here the material uh, I'm going to create new material for that also one and then Let's go to the material. I'm going to select from metal, maybe something, maybe something like this. And then apply and OK and OK. OK. OK, now we change it this. And now again, I'm going to select this and go to the edit. And from here, I'm going to create uh, uh, one one rail in here and one rail in here in the bottom. So I'm going to click this one and click insert three. So I'm going to call this top rail. And for the high of this three feet, and I'm not going to have offset. And for the material, let's uh, create something material, something different. Going to get name well. Take this and then copy and from here go to the appearance and then metal. Let's find something. I'm going to give uh, this kind of uh, material and then apply. Okay. So for the middle one, middle rail, I'm going to have the two foot and uh, four inch. So for the material as well, the type rail, and for the bottom of then I'm going to give this uh, maybe three inch and for the material as as well the same and let's apply okay apply and okay As you can see this is how to create and add the different uh, the new rail. 
so uh, this uh, blazer start from here so let's click this and go to the edit and let's go to the blaster placement and from here you can change this as well I'm not going to change uh, maybe if you want uh, let's change this to something uh, blaster round rounding two inch and from here to paste point this host uh, as default this is the host in here so I'm going to change this to the bottom rail not the host and then uh, this is the top offset I'm not going to give any offset and let's let's see apply okay apply as you can see this change it is uh, go up so again let's uh, see uh, this is the uh, post so I'm going to add uh, post and the corner so from by the corner let's add something post like plaster square 2 inch and let's uh, start fine. Let's make the same. Apply. Okay. Apply. And okay. So you can see there's now there's we added the uh, post in here. So. Uh, if you want to add some uh, post and in, uh, in here, uh, also you can add. But from here, as you can see, from here we we don't have any option to add any post in here. As you can see there is a corner post edge segment in. So we have to uh, this break the rail and then we can add in here. So let's uh, first. I'm going to uh, change the post something different. Uh, let's cancel this. Uh, go to the insert from node family, and from here inside the railing. And then cluster, and then from here post. There is different kind of post. This with the ball, and this rounding like this, and this. This one. I'm going to use this. Let's try this one with the ball. Open. And now, if you go to the edit, now you have that type. So let's start from the first. As you can see, there is uh, the post wall. There is up here. So now I'm going to select. Let's select the first one. Uh, for the all of them, let's select the, the same. Let's apply. And okay. And apply and. Okay. Okay. So you can see this. Uh, we can see very well. It's. Uh, I'm going to uh, this uh, little uh, up the the ball come this uh, little up. So from here, from here, I'm going to top offset. This is the base offset. And from top of it, I'm going to up little maybe four inch, and for the all of them the same for the start point. Yeah, then apply, apply, and also if you want to uh, change the material for this, uh, we don't have any option in here. 
so how to change the material also you can change from uh, here as you can see now it's a uh, little bit comes uh, up if you go to the ground floor it's little bit up so how to change the material for this go to the from here go to family and find the uh, railing and then uh, from here uh, plaster with uh, bulk and then here is double click in here and then I'm going to get the uh, same material just type the, the material that you created okay okay you can see now it's the same material okay if you want to change this material as well and from here find that raster rounding and twinge and then from here you can change the material of that yeah now you can see this is how change the material of the uh, okay uh, if you want to uh, add some more post in here and here and here uh, if you want to add so go to the level floor and then from here I'm going to select this the rail and then go to the edit path and then from here supplet element I'm going to add just one in here and the center uh, let's make it the same okay almost uh, it's the same and then okay finish and then go to the 3d as you can see now it is added automatically some a post again and here okay and now uh, also if you want to change this the uh, the balancer also if you want to change you can change again let's go to how which kind of balancer we have as you can see there is some uh, this uh, we don't have any uh, different coin in here we don't have something like uh, attractive in here so let's go to the insert from here again go to uh, insert load family and then from here I'm going to add something maybe uh, maybe something like this or uh, maybe I'm going to add this let's try this one then open and again select the rail again go to the edit then edit from here find that one custom 3 this is uh, two type 1 inch and 3 uh, by 4 inch I'm going to select this one 1 inch and then apply as you can see again you can uh, change the material from here uh, we change from there ok apply ok now you can see it looks like this let's see from the Round elevation it looks like this so let's bring little uh, this little down select this one and then again go to edit edit from here let's uh, change this to 2 yeah 
now is better and then again let's uh, change the, the color of that let's, from here again double click on that and let's change something uh, different uh, let's create new material from here create new material and then let's uh, rename Start two. Uh, let's uh, copy and let's select a new material from here. Again, go to metal. Uh, let's select something, read like this and apply. Okay, okay. As C and This is how it looks like this. And this is how we create different uh, custom railing and rivet. Uh, I think uh, this changes the post. The post has not looks like something good. Let's change this one. It's, it looks very small. So let's change the post uh, something four. four inch. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is uh, looks better. We can see this is better. Um, this is how we create the custom railing and rivet. Thanks for watching. See you the next tutorial.